Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, The Dressmaker's Closet. So today is episode three. I'm hoping it's going to be the final episode for my double-sided peplum hem wrap top that I've been working on. Uh, if you fancy seeing if I actually get this finished, then please stay tuned. So before we get going, um, if you haven't seen episode, we call them episodes, if you haven't seen episode one and two, you're probably better off watching them first and you can see how I've got to this stage uh, and I'll pop the cards for them up there and then it might be better to watch them in order and then come back to this one. Uh, but if, obviously if you've been following along, you will know I've got this far. So today it's going to be the day I finish it. I am quite happy in my own mind that it's going to work because obviously I've drafted it from scratch out of my head and um, obviously this is twirl, I've twirl, like I've done a, I've done a one layer twirl, this is going to be the actual double sided twirl, I'm not bothered if it um, it's not perfect, uh, I'm not bothered about the fabric because it's just fabric that I had laying around on my shelf so I'm using this fabric so I'm not too worried if it's goes a bit pear shaped but I need to test it out with the two fabrics obviously because I want it to be reversible that's the whole whole idea of this idea so I'm going to just sew it together now I've realized what what I went slightly wrong in episode two where I, obviously my peplum I have to remember when I do obviously the two layers to flip the peplum pieces over when I cut them out for them to like mirror the the layers if you know what I mean so that was my little bit of a dilemma in the last episode but I've obviously got that in my head and kind of know what I'm doing so today is sew them up so they've got I've got them all pinned and I've double checked if they do match up and they do match up lovely so there's one side obviously these are right sides together so there's one side and there's the other side and the peplums do match up so that's good so I'm going to sew the floral pieces together the peplum to the bodice and then sew the plain um, dusky pink linen pieces together and then 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 sew the two pieces together all the way around in one and hopefully I can like bag it out by pulling it through one of the sleeve holes that's the idea hopefully and then if that looks good then add my um, fastenings which I'm just going to go for buttons I just fancy like a couple of buttonholes there and obviously you're going to have the buttonholes there so then when you flip it round you can have obviously when you flip it it's going to fasten that way when you flip it the other way it's going to fasten that way but either way you'll still have your buttons I'm not going to go for ties it's going to be buttonholes and buttons so if you haven't seen my sketch there's my sketch so that's the idea of what I was looking for. Now ignore the collar. I'd like to put a collar on down the line, but today I'm just sticking with the plain neckline, no little collar. But this is something I can add to it once I've mastered, mastered this pattern. And then obviously if I've mastered the pattern, then I can then go on to create it maybe down the line if there's enough interest into a PDF pattern for everybody to create and do their own double, sat, double wrap top. Uh, so first things first, crank up the sewing machines, turn my iron on and uh, get this get this sewn. And hopefully it's going to turn out. I also have my faithful feline helper getting in the way. So he won't move. So I'm just going to leave him where he is. I shall show you him. So... Just a little reminder of um, my sketch. So that's what it's going to look like at the end of today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I have every faith. I have every, every faith in what I do. I always believe I can do something when I start out doing something. I always believe I can do it. So I will do it, even if I have to tweak it and adjust it and amend it, adapt it. But I will achieve I will achieve this hopefully today so yeah so that's my original design so I'm going to 
take the pieces apart so i've got them pinned just on here just because i just want to double check that they do actually match up so i'm gonna so i've already sewn the, sewn the bodice if you remember from episode two so now i have got my peplum and i've got it all pinned to the bodice so i've got the pieces pinned there so raw edges together I need to pin it better because I only pinned it roughly just to make sure that my peplums uh, matched on the other one so I just need to take my pins out adjust my pins on both this one and also on the linen the pink linen and then I can sew them sew them both together one centimetre seam allowance so first things first let me just double check that my pins are all in and the pieces are accurately put together and I've got my notches matching. I also need to add my notches because I've got notches on the bodice but I don't seem to have any notches marked on the peplum so I need to um, make sure I've got them added. stretching it it's I think it's um grown a little bit there so I'll just have to be careful there but it does line up so the ends of the peplum do line up so I'm gonna stitch this peplum on the floral and stitch the peplum on the pink So that's everything pinned all the way around so I can sew it all the way around don't need to leave any openings because I should be able to pull it through 
one of the sleeves. That's the theory. So let's get this sewn. Quick, quick coffee break in between sewing. It's quite a long piece to sew because obviously it's all the way around. So I'm just taking my time, one centimetre seam allowance, taking my pins out as I go. And yeah, so far so good. I've got no excess fabric, nothing is grown or nothing doesn't match up so far. I just needed a quick swig of coffee. Uh, I don't know why I put this undue pressure on myself. I do not know it's because, well, I do know it's because I'm a perfectionist and that is my often my downfall, perfectionism, and uh, I don't like to fail. So I'll keep going, another quick sip of coffee, I'll keep going, and then we'll pull it through and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's stitched up perfectly around the machine. I did um, a little bit close to the edge on one point, I noticed, so I'll have to make sure that I pay attention to the way I've got it pinned, just show you if I can find it. Maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, I did, definitely did. Yeah, there, so just a little bit, my fabric had moved a little bit away from the edges there, so kind of went a little bit askew there and I need to press my seams down rather than pressing them apart or at least this section and clip at least and press this section down for next time because obviously you're going to get this well what I've got going on there so clip possibly clip there and then that could be open. So I need to remember that for next time. So anyway, we're all, all stitched. Right, okay, let's trim. Let's trim the corners. I'm, I'm hesitating cutting anything in case it's all pear-shaped when I turn it through, but I'll just um, quickly snip the corners. And I probably need, I'll probably need to clip clip in there. Let's just trim off these points so when I turn it through I, it's neat on the outside and there's no bulk. Uh, so clip. Yeah, so I'll have to remember that for when I come to make the next one. Right, so hopefully this should pull through.
Right. Okay, so let's let's put it on mail and see what it looks like so far. So I think we're gonna need to top stitch all the way around and that will keep the fabric like not in place but keep the fabric like the edges nice and neat otherwise you could end up with you know the under fabric showing through obviously you could you could under stitch it if you were just doing like a lined version and you weren't going to like have it double sided you could then under stitch it and that would obviously keep your nice crisp edges because this is going to, well this is supposed to be double double sided um, I couldn't under stitch it but if I top stitch it then the top stitching will be nice and neat on both sides so I've got some, I'm going to have to work on this back shape there because it's got some random shape going on there so I'll have to um, look at that it's pressing a bit better but yeah not too bad and then obviously I'm going to have to turn under a centimetre on both sleeves and then stitch them together top stitch them together so that should solve that and then I can put my buttonholes in, buttonholes in that side, and obviously buttonholes in that side. And then it won't matter which way you wear it because you've got buttonholes and buttons and you'll have the buttons in the corresponding place. That's the theory. So let's try it on the other way. So not bad, I actually, I'm quite pleasantly surprised. I'm quite pleasantly pleased. So I'll take it off Mabel, first things first, give it a proper press. I'm gonna get my ironing board out and give it a proper press on my ironing board, then pin and then top stitch all the way around. So that's gonna be another mammoth sewing. Fold them in, stitch the sleeves, and then put the buttonholes in. And uh, yeah, this might turn into a wearable twirl. It may well do. So we'll do a bit of ironing.
Okay, so everything's stitched. Um, sleeves are stitched. So I've got top stitching on both sides. So that's the sleeves done. So it's literally totally reversible now. So now all I've got to do is add the buttonholes to each each side. So I think I need to put the buttons on the seams. I'll put the buttons on and then we'll see what we think at the end. Right, so obviously I needed eight buttons, not four buttons, because you need two there, two there, and then on the other side you need two there and two there. So it's eight buttons. So I realised that after I stitched on to the four. So I'm going to try it on. I'm going to try and accessorise it maybe with a top that kind of kind of matches, just to get the gist. Because obviously this doesn't really go. Although there is lemon in it, but. I'll change the top and see see what it looks like and then pop into the garden and uh, show you the finished results and let's see what we all think. Even when my teardrops start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again Taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped has made me realize that I won't build my life on empty words. Being so damn naive, it only hurts. I'm so tired of So, what do you think? This is my double-sided peplum hem wrap top. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. It's not perfect by any means. I still need to tweak it even there, but it's a wearable twirl and that was what I was hoping for at the beginning of this video. So I've achieved that. It's gonna be a project I'm gonna work on 
through the weeks and the months and I will keep you updated. And it most probably will be episode four because I'm obviously going to make it again. And I'm going to make it again with fabric that has no stretch in it because obviously I used this pale pink and it had stretch in it, which, you know, it's given me a few issues, but I don't know whether um, it is my pattern that's given me the issues or this fabric. So I'll need to make another one in woven fabric you know no stretch at all and then i'll know if, this, if, if, if the issue was simply with that little bit of stretch in that fabric but overall really do like it obviously it's got eight buttons not four buttons because obviously you need the two two on either side to fasten and then you need the two on the inside and then obviously if you're going to flip the top over you need the buttons on the opposite again so it's eight buttons so with this design you're going to have always going to have two buttons that aren't getting used at any one time on the outside and then you're going to have two buttons that aren't going to get used on the inside and the only way you get around that is if you had ties um, but yeah i'm really pleased let me know what you think in the comments box below i really do appreciate your thoughts and your comments and any advice if you've got any advice too and I will be making another one, so you, I will keep you updated as I go along, because this is going to be a personal, definitely a personal little challenge for me. It's definitely a learning curve for me too, because I've learned so much from start to finish on this one. I will definitely be making another one, and I will share with you what I make. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoy this type of content that I'm bringing out to you here on my channel. And if you do, don't forget to give me that thumbs up, because it really does help my channel grow. And uh, if you'd like to see more of my creative content i do also have my patreon page where you have exclusive content over there and you also get as part of your subscription all my future sewing patterns as well uh, i'll pop the link for that in the box below if it's something that you might be interested in but if not thank you so much for joining me as always thanks for your support and i shall see you on my next video bye for now